Let's go, man. Let's get into it. World Premier. Let's go, dude. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Oh, is that Mia? Oh, boy. Bro, this looks creepy already. I love it. Oh, shit. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. No. Mother Miranda? Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Oh, damn. Tall woman is angry with us, huh? That's not very good. Can someone please. Miranda. What the hell is going on here? Okay. No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. That's what I want to hear. It's an evil village. Oh! Oh shit, here we go. Oh shit! Oh, mate! They got swords! You saw they got swords. Oh, man. Oh, they got swords. It's gonna be a nightmare. What? Yeah. Well, oh. well, Ethan Jesus, Winters. how tall does she do? There you are. Oh no, she's gonna do something. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see Lee and um, Chris? He took Ethan's um, child. Oh damn! I like it. I like it. Who the fuck are you? Let's see what you're really made of, Ethan Winters. <laughs> Oh shit! What? Oh, what? Oh boy! Oh man, bro! <laughs> Mind blown! What? All right, so they got gameplay. Just like in Resident Evil Seven Biohazard. You'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. Wow, okay, an open area. You make your way from the village to the castle. Oh, that place, that, that, that castle looks creepy, dude. For their kidnapped daughter. As you've noticed daughter. by now, okay. Resident Evil Village keeps the first person perspective. But then, we think it really didn't um, the Chris we've take the daughter? You saw, like, in the first trailer, Chris was holding the, um, the baby. What is going on? Miranda, have I? Do I know the name Miranda? I don't feel like I do. You'll see a lot of those little details come to life here. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow! It's very crazy, isn't it? Very extravagant. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. I like it. This is what I want to see. From Castle. Look knowledge. at the paper with blood Everything on it. The lighting. The mood. This is Resident Evil, bro. I want to feel that anxiety. Uh oh. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. See, this, these, these expect, are going to be a problem a now. Not really Three of them, do. Oh shit. Yeah, this is not going to be fun. Oh sh. Oh shit. Man blood. Oh, bro. Uh oh. Now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. 
Wow, man. I love it. It looks like it's going to be a good story. Look at the locations. You're in like a mad cellar or like a prison cellar or something. Oh, boy. Okay, shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Guarding. Okay. All right, so it's what, a little bit of Resident Evil 4 is coming back, yeah? Where's the evil five? Has their own distinct way of oh man, so what is that? To defeat them. Oh, oh, oh boy. What to do with red barrels, right? This fight looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. Oh man, I'm getting stressed already. Oh, okay, item box. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. We could craft from before. Oh shoot! A sniper rifle. Of weapons to find and utilize All right, so this is going to be more action. They're going to be like, what? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be more action. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. What the hell? My name. Oh, how? What are you buying? Has anyone has heard of the likes of you? The merchant makes a return. The dude, okay. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons. Oh boy, I can't wait! Yes. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him he in does. different situations big boy. each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You're a thick boy, huh? Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your travel. Alright, alright, alright. Oh boy. In the cellar? Blood? Wait, do you hear that? Oh, that doesn't sound good. And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve. I like to it! Move puzzles, baby! Oh, and uh, oh, man. plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Yes, I love it! Resident Evil, boy! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, damn, was that inside him? Oh, what is going on? I haven't cut open a man. Oh, bro, I'm gonna be stressed! Slice your jugular. And just walk. Oh, man, this is gonna be hard! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, yeah, this is gonna be so good! Well, that's one way to end the video. Bro, this is gonna be so sick! Oh, bro, puzzles, boss fights like that where they're stalking you, weapons, even though you're not going to be, you're not going to be overpowered. Oh man, this is gonna be ridiculous, dude. <laughs> They're not letting up. They're not letting up, man. They know the mistake that they made before was Resident Evil, and they're they're not gonna make that mistake again. Oh I'm so happy about this so far. Bro, bro, I love it, I love it. Alright, what we got next? Let's go. Alright, so they got a demo. The Maiden. What's this all about? Escape the dungeon. Okay, so... For this demo, players won't be playing as Ethan. But as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Hmm. Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. Alright, so it's like um, Resident Evil 7 Mia, where she had to hide... Or when you did the DLCs and you played with Zoe and you had to like really hide from the family and get out of the mansion. So it's something like that. Yes, yeah, cool. That's calm. Yeah, yeah, all right. Man, I love that. So far, man, I'm excited. This has not disappointed me at all. Oh, man. I mean, they're saying the um, the demo is available today on the PS in the PS5. Uh, So that's going to be amazing, man. I can't wait, man. I mean, unfortunately, I'm not going to have access to the um, to the PlayStation 5 demo. You know what I mean? So that's going to be sad. But, you know, you know what? Yeah, it's calm, man. It's calm, bro. I see what I like. I see. I'm happy about it. 
Let's go, dude. Let's go. We're gonna see what else we got. Don't the only thing that I I'm not really happy about is they're talking about it coming out on the PS4. I don't know about that, right? I don't know about it coming on the PS4, man, because I don't need another Cyberpunk. Yeah? Cause that's what that will ruin that will ruin everything. If they do if they pull a cyberpunk, they've ruined it. They ruined it, mate. So we need to see, man. We need to see. Like what's going on with this whole coming out on the PS4 and the Xbox One. Yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. If they I mean I trust these guys, but again, I trust CD CD Project Red. I mean that Resident Evil uh, Reverse. It don't look interesting to me. You know, it's like that thing that they released with Resident Evil Three. They released some type of multiplayer thing. SMH doesn't didn't, didn't really mean anything to me. But everything else, man, I'm hyped about it, man. Like they came correct, bro. They ain't trying to sell me no nonsense. They ain't trying to sell me no madness. They're going straight to the game. Straight to the gameplay, straight to the characters, giving us a taste, giving us a taste of what the the story and the environments are like. Peak, peak. So that whole showcase, yeah, for me, I give that a um, that gets a lovely nine out of ten for a showcase. I like it. So, Warriors, let me know what you guys thought about that. I loved it. It was great. Um, you know, we'll go through it. We'll go through it and break it down with a fine tooth comb. You guys can join me, yeah, in my next video. And we'll just see what are they doing. Like, if there's any kind of, like, tiny little secrets. Man, I can't wait, man. Miranda and all these type of people that I don't... I, that the names don't come to me immediately right now. I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped. I'm excited. You know. And now I think about it. She did say the, um, the tall woman. Yeah. Did say something about my little brother. You escaped the gaze of my little brother. That might be the guy with the glasses. Who looks like he's like he's from Dead um, Dark Souls or something like that. And you have like the glasses. So that might be her brother. But yeah. We don't know. So let's not. Um, let's not. Um theorize too much right now but yeah love it great let me know what you guys think and bro let's let's keep it going warriors let's do it